Hello and welcome back to Perfect Spiral Capital. My name is Luke Tatum. It's Monday. That means it's Mindset Monday. And this week I want to talk about snake handling. As a quick disclaimer, I am not a snake handler. I am not encouraging you to become a snake handler. Please do not, after watching this video, go out and grab a snake. Please, I'm begging you, don't do it. Now, there are various problems in your life. We're going to call those snakes. Depending on who you follow and what metaphors you like, you may have seen them referred to as dragons or maybe toads, as in eating the biggest toad first, that kind of talk. But today, we're going to talk about snakes. Now, I have here an extremely rare and dangerous snake called a USB snake. Now, beautiful creature, USB snakes can represent all manner of real-world problems, and you have to be really careful with these guys whenever you're picking them up. So let's say that your company has a whole big tech stack, a whole lot of different services that it uses for different things, and none of them talk to each other. You've got your email client, you've got your scheduling client, you've got your client relationship manager, you've got different logins and different softwares and all of these things, and they're all just a pain to use because none of them talk to each other. Your customer service people hate it because they can't import data from anywhere else. Your inbound call handlers hate it because they can't access any of the other systems. They're constantly being signed out of things. It just, it just doesn't work. Now, maybe you understand it, but you set it all up, or your core team set it all up, and you just have a horrible time trying to onboard people, trying to improve efficiency with your different systems. That's a snake. That's a USB snake. It's a real big problem, and you've got to tackle it. How? Well, let's unwind the snake. He's thankfully quite docile at this moment. Do you grab the snake by the tail? Well, no, because he's got all this flexibility over here. He can come back and bite you on the hand. Well, do you grab him by the middle? Here in the middle? No. Same problem. He can come right back and bite you on the hand or on the arm even. In fact, there's only one way to deal with a USB snake, and that is to grab it right behind the head or by the head. You can see there's no more wiggle room. There's no more ability for this snake to coil back around and bite me. Now, this snake may be able to wrap around my arm a little bit and do a little bit of damage, but the fangs have been neutralized. The fangs cannot be used to harm me because I took swift direct action. I can carry this snake outside and put it back into the wilderness where it belongs, right? So let's go back to our example do you just create more and more detailed guides to help your team deal with your overcomplicated set of tools? Well, that's basically grabbing the snake back here by the tail, isn't it? You're not solving anything. Maybe you should spend significantly more money and invest in some automation tools that get some of the work to be a little bit easier for some of your teams. Well, again, Grabbing the snake by the middle this time, maybe it's a little bit better, but that snake can still coil right back around and hurt you. Your situation is, quite frankly, a mess, and these solutions are not solutions at all. The real solution here, again, the only real solution is to grab the snake by the head. You need to completely reset your entire organizational structure. Yes, that may be somewhat painful, but what's worse, not being able to bring on or retain key talent because they can't stand working with your systems? You can reduce your total number of tools, you can save time, you can make it easier to use, you can do all of those things all at once simply by taking key direct action at the root of the problem. 
The alternative, of course, is to let the snake get bigger and bigger, let more and more problems fester, let this get to be something you can't even handle. You can't go grab a 14-foot anaconda right behind the head. You don't have the arm strength or the grip strength to grapple with that kind of a snake. You need to handle it before it gets that big. So here's your encouragement to grab that snake, whatever snake you're dealing with, by the head, get it outside, throw it back into the woods, and move on with your life. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to clarify and simplify the finances of your small business, that's what Perfect Spiral Capital is here to do. You can find a link where you can book a meeting with our team in the description box below, and I hope that I'll talk to you soon there. In the meantime, if you'd like to watch more videos along the same lines, you'll find another one of those coming up on screen here in just a moment. And thank you again so much for watching. See you in the next one.